Hello, my name is Jeff Kyleman, and I am part of the Legal Domain team. Other members of our team include Leo Azopardo, Sungmi Shin, Liz Eddy, and Alex Vikanen. So if you've ever had a legal question, you probably know how difficult it is to pick through page after page of monotonous legal code. You almost need to have a lawyer present to answer even the most basic legal questions. Well, not anymore. Our team has used Watson to help average non-lawyers answer simple questions about Indiana law. It's like having your own personal lawyer. Our instance of Watson has been taught to answer questions about Title 7.1, Alcohol and Tobacco Code, Title 9, Motor Vehicle Code, Title 31, Family Law and Juvenile Law, and Title 35, Criminal Law and Procedure. So let's go ahead and ask Watson some legal questions. What about, what is a booby trap? And there you have it, the definition for a booby trap. This is interesting because we didn't even ask any questions about definitions, but Watson's figured it out all by itself. How about some marriage questions? Mm, let's see, do I have to pay my wife's Comcast bill? And there you have it. Obviously, if you're married, you should probably take care of each other's bills, but I guess legally, a man's not required to pay his wife's Comcast bill. How about, I'm a woman. Can I marry a woman? Maybe you're from outside the country or even outside the state. You're not sure if same-sex marriage is prohibited. But here you have it. Indiana Code states that it is. How about, I'm 16. Can I get married? And there you go. 16-year-olds cannot get married in the state of Indiana. How about some alcohol and tobacco questions? What about, it's Sunday. Can I buy myself a beer? The local liquor store. Let's fix that really fast. And there we go. It is not legal to purchase alcohol on a Sunday in Indiana. Maybe you didn't know that if you were out of state. How about you're at a bar, you want to maybe sell the guy next to you your extra pack of cigarettes. And there you go. You require a tobacco certificate to sell tobacco in Indiana. Let's move on to some vehicle questions. What about, um, can I scratch the VIN off of my vehicle? Obviously this is something you probably wouldn't want to do anyway, but Watson knows you should not scratch the VIN off your vehicle. What if you uh, broke down, you wanted to leave your broken car on the highway? And there you have it. What if uh, you were wondering if it was okay to throw a cigarette out of your uh, out of your your vehicle? You want to know the penalty for such a thing? And there you have it, Class A infraction. So, obviously, you see that we don't give concise answers as of right now. This is something we would like to work on in the future. It's mostly just pointing directly to the law within Indiana Code. But uh, moving forward, we think this is a very useful project. We would like to improve it slightly, but we think we have something started here. And um, that's about it for our demonstration. Thank you, and on behalf of the legal domain team... Um, we hope you have a great day.